guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta, but if you can roll your R's, then you can say Marta. <laughs> guys, we hit 500 subscribers. I'm freaking out. Like, this is happening so fast for me. I just started this channel, and I'm just... I just love you all so much, and I can't wait to create more content for you. I'm just... I'm excited. So, anyway. So, I recently put a video up that was a 2017 recap on what I did, and it showed what I learned in 2017. In that video, I wore this exact same thing. Looked, hair, jewelry, eyes, everything. And you guys really wanted to know how I did this smoky eye. So, I figured, you know, I've gotten pretty good at a smoky eye. It's time that I shared with you my tips and tricks on how to execute the perfect smoky eye. So... Yeah, if you want to see how I got this look right here, then just keep on watching. <laughs> and no, I have not painted my nails yet, okay? Some people are nail people, some people are makeup people. I'm a makeup people person, place, thing, object. Grammar. Okay, let's flash back to before my eyes were black. <laughs> I burned, I burned myself with my curling iron, like literally three minutes ago it's starting to bubble ew 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 and my hair got like stuck in it because it was like gooey I don't even want to think about it nope and then I had to rip my hair out and it was very painful I'm trying to make you not be able to see that half of my room because it's a mess I'm putting lipstick on because I look just too plain to make this look okay this is the tardiest lip paint and this is my favorite one ever because it has an orange-brown undertone. And I like that. That's what I want. The only problem is this is super drying. Like, super drying. So you want to put, like, chapstick on underneath. I don't have any chapstick near me, so... I'm just going to deal with it. Oh, I love it. I still haven't downloaded Spotify again since I got my laptop fixed, so we're on YouTube just playing some random EDM music, because EDM music is my favorite type of music. Unless it's EDM with a little bit of reggaeton in it, then oh, me encanta. The best way to start doing a smoky eye where you need everything to blend seamlessly, make sure you put concealer down. I already have concealer on my eyelids, but now I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro um, Conceal Powder and just really make sure the lids are as smooth as possible. The highlighter I like to use for putting all over my body is the LA Girl Strobe Highlighter because it kind of has a gold um, champagne-y but more gold undertone so then it kind of matches my skin better than if I was to put like a white highlighter, you know? But I also use this on my cheeks today. But yeah. I really like this one, so just wanted to mention it. Okay. Okay, let's do the eyes. Oh my gosh. Let me show you this palette that I found. So I went on Amazon and I was buying all these products for my bridal show that I'm doing tomorrow. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Anyway, um, I wanted to get a bunch of brushes and eyeshadows and stuff, and I came across this baby. Okay. Beauty glazed pressed eyeshadow. Whoa. Look at all those beautiful colors, and it's pigmented. Here. Ah, it's so good, and it was so, focus, it was so cheap. I don't remember the exact dollar amount, but I'll put it right there when I remember it, because I'll look it up. But yeah, I can leave you the link to it in the description, but I'm obsessed with this. So we're going to dip into this a little bit. I just haven't been able to sit down and talk to you relaxed in so Long. I am always rushed. I mean, I'm a little rushed by like the sunlight today. Like we only have an hour to film this eye look, but we're going to get it done. Oh, we're going to get it done. I always like to start any, you know, smoky eye look with a huge blending brush. So this is a big fat blending brush. Um, I got this at like TJ Maxx. I don't know. It was in a random set, but like if you can find a big blending brush and just use this, we're going to look for a color that we can... Oh, shoot. Um, and we're, uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. in that video where I had the smoky eye and this, you know, exact same look going on, I didn't use this palette because I just got this in like two days ago. What I used as a transition color in that video was 
this from Carly Bible. I think this one and this one, one of them. But now that I have a little bit more options today, I'm going to use a different one. So I'm going to grab this one right in the middle. Oh, where'd it go? Now the, these do like they're flies. They have a lot of fallout, but it's fine. So this goes to the crease and up a little bit. I don't think my brush was clean. It's fine. Oh, and if you're new to my channel, don't mind all the faces that I make when I put my makeup on. Because I make the craziest faces. Like this. This is what I do. Now I'm going to grab the color that I used in that video, that original video, which was this color from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. This one, Dawn, right here. Again, this palette has a ton of fallout, so be very delicate when you are touching it. Stick that in the upper crease. So we're already two colors in. And yes, I say colors instead of collars or however you're supposed to say it. I always have people comment, it's collars or whatever, not colors. I'm like, I say colors. Just, just deal with it. Just deal with it. I don't know what kind of accent it is. Um, pero déjame ya, okay? Just deal with it. <laughs> we got some contouring going on. It's so subtle, you can't even see it, but it's there. It's so important to put um, a color that's a little bit darker than your skin tone in the crease or the transition is going to look whack. I'm feeling like listening to a little bit of Ariana. This burns. Oh, it's getting worse. Oh, dear. Oh, man. Because I know you got a bad reputation. Doesn't matter because it gives me temptation. And we don't got to think about nothing. Now, um, we're dipping into an important color here. So, they have this cute little palette that I got um, from ColourPop. It's their cute AF palette. It has all these colors in it. We're going to grab this one to begin darkening the crease. So I have a tapered blending brush. It's a Sephora 205 brush. Gonna get me in trouble. Grab a flat edge. I do this trick all the time, okay? I grab the flat edge and I match it to the tail of my eyebrow and I start working it into the crease. See how it gives it like a straight edge? And just keep grabbing more product and making it darker. Now if you don't want the edge to be so like straight, you know, you can buff it out. Now I'm bringing this color over because we the smoky eye covers the whole lid, so. This also makes your lid look bigger if you bring color all the way to the inside. I'm going to start saying shadow instead of color. Col color. 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 I don't know. Oh, yay. Oh. Okay, so at this point, if you wanted to do a like cut crease, this would be the point to do that, but we're going all out with a smoky eye, and that's why we have a very subtle lip. Okay, so now, take a flat, flat brush. You might want to spray it with something. Here, I'm going to spray it with this LA Girl setting spray. I mentioned a lot of LA Girl products today. I'm not like <laughs> sponsoring them or anything. I just happen to have a lot of products for them. So I'm gonna spray my brush. Whoa. We're gonna grab that same fudge color. Tap it on your hand. You don't want any flyaways. If you're afraid of it, stick something under your eye. If you're afraid flyaways are gonna happen. All right, ready? For this inner part, you want to be careful. Take that edge. And just on the bottom, Taking a taper brush. I 
I'm raising the smokiness a little higher. You can get a tiny little brush if you need for precision up here. So at this point, now you take that giant blending brush and you blend, girl. You blend until you see no starting and ending point of any of these transition colors, okay? Get your little flat edge, if this is what you like, and blend your little heart out. Cause I know what I gotta do. Cause I don't know what it is. So, the only thing that I wanna say before I do this other eye is adding the Fix Plus or setting spray, if you add any wetness to the brush, it's gonna cause some eyeshadow to be a little bit darker. I'm itchy. It's gonna cause it to be a little bit darker in some places and a little bit lighter in other places. So, just do your best to fill that in. I'm going to do the lid of the other side and then I'll come back and we'll do the bottom. All right, now I'm just blending a little bit more up here. Sometimes it's a little harder to blend than other times, and this one right here is being difficult. So we're really top heavy right now. So um, first we're gonna go in with a detail brush like this and dip into that Keller fudge and put that right underneath. And you can take that as far in as you'd like. I'm trying to be seen, but still. Now I'm gonna grab that transition color we used in the beginning on this right here and just sweep that back and forth. Ow! Guys, my neck hurts so much. We could have used this palette, honestly, for the whole thing, like First transition, second transition, and we could have used this color for the lid, but I used the Subculture palette, but this is a really good palette, and it's cheap. It's like 16 bucks, so you should get it. Repeating this to the other eye. Be right back. I'm also grabbing that transition color we used in here, right in the middle. Whoop! And sweeping that underneath. This helps make it not so harsh, you know? Okay. Good thing about doing a smoky eye is you don't have to do eyeliner because you wouldn't really see the eyeliner anyway and it would mess up everything. So you just need some mascara. For mascara, I'm gonna use this new one that I have. It's Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. It's just a straight across one, but. Always put it on the bottom. I'm just respect my innocence. But this is like a thick formula so you can really get your lashes to stay up. Like it curls them too instead of just coloring them. I have a hair on my skin. Do you see that? What is that? What would happen if I pulled it? Got it. I'm gonna take the Carly Bible palette and get some of this gold highlighter right here. This is such a pretty color. And put it right in the inside. And you're gonna watch how much that like opens up the eye. So pretty. You know what, I'm also gonna take, take uh, the white, just a little bit. And then mix the gold and the white together to do under my brow bone. Ooh, ooh. Now I'm gonna add some highlighter to the rest of me. I already put some on my cheek, so. Oh, let me get this thing off my head. Ow, 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 ow. Okay guys, this is the final result that you all saw in my 2017 recap video. I literally looked 
just like this. I think my hair was parted a little more that way, but <laughs> this is what I look like. So yeah, I really like doing a smoky eye, mostly because I don't have to do eyeliner. I can do a really good wing, but it's such a pain. It's like doing eyebrows. It takes a year. So I prefer to do a smoky eye, and I know it seems like it takes long whenever I'm, you know, teaching you how to do it, but in reality for me, I'm like swipe, 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 tap, 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 swipe, 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 and it's done. <laughs> I'm a new channel on here and I'm just growing and I love each of my subscribers so much because they are part of this journey for me. The beginning stages are huge and crucial and I just would love for you to join the family so then I can do more giveaways because I really like doing giveaways. I've done a giveaway before when I hit 100 and I just hit 500 subscribers and I'm so excited and I can't wait to hit 1K. Let's get to 1K. Smash the subscribe button. <laughs> if you like videos like this where I teach you eye looks, give this video a like so then I know. Okay, ow, I just hit my elbow really hard. But yeah, my neck hurts really bad so I'm gonna go put ice on that and I have nowhere to go right now and I'm all done up. I'm just gonna go put my onesie on and go watch some friends, pretty much. <laughs> if you did like me and you wanna see a little bit more of me, my Instagram is over there so you can follow me on there. Yeah, there, on there. You can follow me on there. What? You can follow me on there to keep up to date with what I'm doing. I always post on my story. So, yeah. That's everything I want to say. So, I love you guys and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.